Now, this year's budget theme revolves around a comprehensive monetization of the Ugandan economy with emphasis on commercial agriculture, industrialization for economic transformation, and digital transformation. The introduction of the 52.7 trillion budget for the financial year 2023-24 coincides with the commencement of the budget month. So if the citizens would want you to tell us where are the issues in revenue mobilization, what particular areas of accountability and transparency need to be worked on to ensure that we are effective. During the event, notable achievements announced were a significant increase in the taxable register, indicating the expansion of the formal economy. Whereas we could be having about 9 million potential taxpayers, our register now stands at 3.2 million. This is a significant rise from about 1.4 million taxpayers, where we were less than three years ago. Positive signs were observed in the global economy, with decreasing inflation and a gradual recovery from the impact of the pandemic and geopolitical tensions. The global economic recovery has benefited from retreating global commodity prices due to the cooling off of tight monetary policies worldwide. Although the effects of tight monetary policies have manifested in global banking sector, Civil society participants underscored tackling corruption, inclusivity, and efficient debt management. I think we have to, uh, to, to, to raise the bar in terms of fighting corruption and take it to another level. Not only should we arrest people, but to recover that money so that when they come out of jail or wherever, they find nothing. So make corruption very risky, save the money. I know that corruption cannot be eradicated, but can be reduced to a level that can allow development which is the position of the government. They called for the removal of non-performing projects. Non-performing projects, non-functional projects, slow performing projects must be thrown out of a public investment management system. They are crowding up monies and also we are reducing the fiscal space for us to spend. This goes along with the accounting officers that are managing these projects. Private sector participation in driving economic growth, policy making and budgeting was commended. Uh, also around me, uh, thank uh, the Uganda Revenue Authority, specifically the Commissioner General, and your technical teams for always offering an open window policy to the private sector every time we have issues present that are affecting our growth and competitiveness. With the launch of the budget month, Uganda seems committed to advancing economic transformation while ensuring transparency and accountability in budgetary processes. Wadulo Mark Arnold, UBC News, in Kampala.